I'm Chloe. I'm a, I'm a ton twirler student. Ton twirling is a sport which some people say it's like rhythmic gymnastics but with a metal stick and it's got two rubber ends and you twirl it, do tricks underneath it, toss it up in the air. You need to have very good um, hand-eye coordination to be a baton twirler because you have to know what your body is doing as well as the baton. Um, you also need some some to more of a flexible flexibility because you have to do tricks like an illusion where you have to do the splits in the middle of the air and leaps. Um, I started coaching when I was about 15. I was the junior coach for the club. I have been twirling for um, since I was about three, I think I was three when I registered with the club, but my mum was twirling before then and she was coaching while she was pregnant with me. So you could probably say I've been twirling since conception. Hi, I'm the president of Ready Hill um, RSL Youth Club Baton Twirlers and I watch over the club and give them direction and spend their money and all sorts of things, give their coaches um, support and their job of twirling with the girls and teaching them. It's something that once you sort of seem to get it in your blood it never seems to leave which a lot of people you know it happens with a lot of us. My name is Peyton and I twirl for Rudy Hilbert Tun Twirlers. I am currently 10 years old and I'm turning 11 this year. Well I started I started competing when I was two years old but I was like just a little baby, but I was like before that I would just like have a little baton just twirling around. My biggest achievement was last year at state when I won the state championships for my juvenile dance trial. I think my mum put me in baton twirling at such a young age because she did it and she thinks I could be as good as she was and I was a natural born to be a baton twirler. I am going to state championship this year. I've qualified for my stripe, one baton, solo and pairs and my dance trial. At nationals, I got one like top place. I got third in my juvenile dance trial last year at nationals and I got fourth in my one baton and I think I got seventh in my strap. I am going to Limoges, France for the international competition. It's the stepping point between our normal competitions and the world championships. So it's, a, we twirl against France, America, Japan. So I'm doing two individual events. In my solo, I am versing four, 54 people. And then there's me, so there's 55 all together. And then in artistic twirl, I am competing against 53. I'm nervous but excited because it's my well, it's my second international competition like as I was older. The first one I was 12, I did one two years ago. But this one's more like pressure based because it's like a big competition where the other ones were like sort of recreational. I did the Pan Pacific Cup in Stockton, California in 2017. And we, there was just, I think there was, oh there was New South Wales and Queensland girls who competed. We did a team and I also did individual stuff as well as pairs. So International Cup is more based on the intermediate twirlers, so in the middle range, where World is for the elite twirlers who are like the like spokesmen of twirling. Well coaching with baton twirling it's not necessarily being able to do the, the skills and tricks yourself, it's being able to break them down to the you know the core elements and that's what we're teaching at very basic twirling so it's just breaking them down and getting her to actually you know break it down put and then put it to structure it back together so that she can then obviously produce the twirl we wanted to. Well it could be an advantage of having my mum as my coach because she knows what I can do like specifically and she might ask me to do something that she's seen on YouTube or Facebook, which I can do like at home and practice it to get it perfect for the next training session where 
if she wasn't my mum, I couldn't really do that because she wouldn't be able to explain it to me and help me with it. So leading up going to France, um, a lot of training um, and routine structure. So Chloe had um, some international coaches come out and actually um, do the choreography for her routine. And then um, we went back to um, club level and sort of broke the routines down, made sure that she could do the elements and you know, made it the routine for her. So I have been titled national champion last year for two of my events for uh, in, sorry, intermediate, senior intermediate artistic 12 and senior intermediate freestyle. I have also previously been in teams that have been titled national championships. I think we have, we were titled national championships three times. I'm very proud of her. Um, she's actually, she's worked really, really hard to, um, to actually get to this level. So I'm very proud that she's done all that work and has managed to actually make a, get a position in the squad. I think she will perform very well because she's very prepared for it. She's done an international competition before, so she has an idea of what's involved, not at the level and the participation that's in this competition because there's quite a lot of countries involved with this one and quite a lot of um, athletes in the section that she's competing in. So, um, you know, we just expect and would like her to do as her best. So she's happy with her performance if she gets into the semi-finals or something like that. That would be an added bonus for her, or her hard work and Chris's hard work. But um, other, you know, so it would be an ideal thing. But if she does her best and she's just not, um, you know, beaten by other people better than her on the day, then you can't ask for any more than that. I think my, grandpa my grandmother and my mother are proud of me because I'm following in their footsteps and what they've achieved. And also they've helped me on the way to get there. So, and they've like coached me through it. So it's what they've learnt and then what they've taught me that got me to International Cup. Well, I was very proud of Christine when she was at the World Championships in the team and with Chloe going as an individual, you know, her, it's still very proud. I feel very proud of both of them. I've got all my supporters gear ordered and <laughs> flags and bunting to put around where we sit and all that all all in my suitcase. I think it's a big thing with because we are such Australia the twirling um, group within Australia is so small compared to some of the other countries that it's a it's a huge feat that we've got athletes that are at the level to actually compete over there so because we are so small we need to you know be loud and loud and proud and sort of get it out there that Australia are actually there. We're definitely proud of her. And as long as she goes out on the floor and does her best, so really, you know, if she gets into the semi-finals or, you know, further then great, but as long as she goes out, has fun and does her best, then that's all that matters. <laughs>